Hi Scorpio, this is Eileen with your June 2021 Psychic Tarot card reading. And you've got some fairly good cards here this month for June. Um, a little bit stressful on some of them, like this one here. But overall, you have good cards. And uh, this is a general reading, so some of these cards may resonate with you, while others do not. If I'm doing a private reading, then I'm just focusing in on your circumstances. And I re am reading the meanings of the cards as well as tuning in on a psychic level. But you've got the Five of Pentacles here. Five of Pentacles is talking about feeling like there's not enough to go around. Not enough money, not enough prosperity, whatever it is, feeling like you're not, you don't have all of what you need and you might be worried about that. This is a passing thing. It's a temporary situation. So uh, it may have even kind of um, hurt your self-esteem a bit if you're going through that right now where you're feeling discouraged or feeling like maybe things aren't going to work out well for you. And um, I am getting that for a number of Scorpios. Someone may be extending a hand for you. And in some cases, this might be romance where someone's seeing you and being very attracted and drawn to you and seeing your good qualities, that you're a good quality person, but you may not be, be feeling real good about yourself here. And then in other instances, someone could be offering um, you, Scorpio, a job. Maybe if you've been applying for jobs and felt like you can't get the job you want or whatever, someone might be offering you a job because they're seeing the good qualities and would like you to work for them. So it does look like there's opportunities for you and the best thing you can do for yourself is build your own self-esteem and self-confidence and get that back up and going again because you've got a lot of good things that can be unfolding coming along here. You've got the Six of Cups and Six of Cups is about something. <laughs> this kitty's always looking at me. Look at the eyes. The telepathic kitty. Um, this is about something or someone from the past coming back into your life. And things can be really good this time around. Now, the cups do represent the water signs of Scorpio, Pisces, and Cancer. And um, so this is one of your cards. So this could be someone. It could be someone you were involved in in the past involved with in the past coming back. Maybe it didn't work out in the past, but it will this time around. Or I'm getting more so than an ex coming back. I'm not, I'm not even getting that that strong. I'm feeling it's someone that you had been have been friends with and have known for a while. And maybe you've lived apart, lived in different cities, whatever it is. And the two of you get together again, maybe um, just visiting or maybe one or the other has moved back into the same town or city and the two of you get reacquainted and then there's romance that develops instead of it just being a friendship. So uh, that's more of the feeling I'm getting from this card. Now in some cases this is just you, you getting together with an old friend or a relative you haven't seen in a long time. But there's a lot of happiness around this card here and love. And so I am feeling for some Scorpios that there's going to be some kind of romance and love that's developing with someone that maybe had previously just been a friend to you or an acquaintance. And um, it's almost like you start looking at that person and thinking, well, they've got some pretty good traits. I actually like this person a lot. I get along. We, we're friends already, and that's a good way to start a relationship anyway, to like the person as a friend to begin with. Um, they may not be as quick to start putting two and two together as you are, though. So um, it might take a little time for them. Now, in some cases, this card can be business related. There might be some kind of work you've done in the past or a particular job you had that you were enjoying yourself and the money was good and things were going well. And for one reason or another, it kind of uh, uh, phased out. Well, this could come back again strong this time around because whatever it is, it's an abundance this card is abundant. It's happy. It's prosperous. It's feeling good. Like things are moving forward for you in a happy, optimistic manner. So whether it's in the relationship department or with business or some job or something, um, 
this could be really good for you going forward. So then the next card, which is a good card to have next to this, the Emperor card. This is a major Arcana Destiny card. This is talking about making good, solid decisions in life for yourself or maybe on behalf of others. If you are responsible for other people, either in your personal life or in your business and work, this is talking about success, being successful prosperous, being uh, wise, you know, possessing a lot of wisdom and being good at just making solid, good decisions, being very decisive, uh, take charge, productive, just moving forward and getting things done, uh, making a, a lot of accomplishments for yourself in your life, your work, your plans, your career. So this is about succeeding with this card here, the Emperor. So this could be you, Scorpio, in the month of June, that you're really gaining some momentum here, and you get to a point where you're looking and saying, okay, I am making good success, good progress now. Now also, this could have to do with someone around you. This could be someone you're dealing with in business. Maybe this is like a manager or an owner of a business that you might be applying for a job, promotion, transfer. This person could definitely benefit you if this is someone around you. Or you might be applying for a loan on a house, a car, uh, anything else, or maybe some other business activity. You could definitely benefit from this person. This person is all about success, uh, achieving goals, going places in the world. So either this is you and I encourage you if you feel if you don't feel like that you right now start putting out that kind of feeling energy that this is you because it's your feeling energy that attracts things. So you want to feel good and successful even if your bank account doesn't say it is right now. You want to get out that feeling energy that that is who you are so then the the universe will provide in kind and match what you're feeling um, in the material world. So, uh, but overall a, a, I get a lot of strong energy of uh, prosperity, abundance, success, and just getting things done, being very decisive for you. So um, a lot of strong, and this is like the best card to me in this reading today. And then um, now also what just occurred to me for some uh, Scorpios, this could represent a romantic interest. This person might be someone you or involved with or you will get involved with and this person really has success all around them so this could be a good potential mate for you I don't think if so if this is somebody you just start seeing I don't think they're gonna rush into anything they really like to make a good decision so they don't hurry and rush into anything and they're very much focused on business also more so than their personal life next card you have is Knight of Wands and the wands do represent the fire signs of Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. And the Knight of Wands is talking about making progress in business because the wands do relate to your work area, your career, progress, action. So this is talking about going and being busy, maybe traveling for work even. You might even, some Scorpios might be relocating for a job, but this is good because you're feeling confident, you're feeling optimistic. It's like what you want. It's not something you don't want, you know, that you're just um, forcing yourself to do. Um, you might even be in some kind of work that takes you out in the car, maybe just driving around from one side of the city to the next or uh, between towns, um, you know, that sort of thing, just in the course of your work. But you're making good progress. You're feeling good about how you're doing and and your success so far. And you've got the energy, the stamina, you've got the ambition to keep going. So this is a great card to have right alongside this emperor. And then too, I am getting for some Scorpios. This Knight of Wands might represent a person that would have romantic interest toward you in the month of June. Now this person is primarily focused on their business, on career. So if, but I do feel for some Scorpios, this is a romantic, a potential romantic partner, um, someone who is going to be interested. I don't, whoever I'm tuning into, because right now, because I get different scenarios for different people, I'm feeling you, the Scorpio, 
almost like this person is going to be interested in you uh, even though they're really focused on their career they're going to be attracted to you and interested in you in a more romantic manner and you almost um, it's almost like you've been hurt before and you don't want to be hurt again and it's almost like you don't want them to focus on you kind of like I think you're afraid of getting your heart broken again being rejected and it's going back to this five of pentacles that's like having low self-esteem and losing your confidence from difficult some kind of difficult situations so um whoever this is for it's like i'm tuning into somebody in particular with that little piece there um again it's all about your own self-esteem and confidence but this person is going to be very attracted to you but they are staying busy in their career and their work so they're not going to hang around too long if you're not showing an interest also <laughs> and then you've got the knight of swords and the knight of swords um the swords do represent the air signs of aquarius gemini and libra and uh this knight of swords represents something that comes in really fast and abruptly and leaves just as quickly into your life and it can cause this feeling of upheaval when it's going on so this could be that something changes in your life in june it could be maybe you've been looking for a job and everything's been kind of quiet and slow and nothing you want has come along and then all of a sudden something opens up and you've got to act really quickly or it could be you wanted to move maybe whether you're renting or buying or whatever and you were having a hard time finding what you want and then all of a sudden out of the blue there's something and you've got to act really quick whatever it is it causes this feeling of upheaval where you've got to rush and act and do a lot quicker than you wanted to or you would have and um and it's very stressful when it's going on but then after the dust settles it's like you're in a, you're in a better place you feel good about it um and then this could also represent someone who comes into your life out of the blue and then they leave just as quickly also so but um it is it's just quick energy it has something that happens fast and then the dust settles and it's like it's a better situation for you later and then you've got the temperance card this is about balance and see how she's holding the goblets and everything one looks like it's got fire maybe the other one's got liquid and it's kind of like balancing things in your life and um, this is a major arcana card also and what I'm getting here is that maybe for some Scorpios you've been focusing primarily on one area of your life and neglecting another area or maybe you're neglecting a certain person in your life or it might even be you're busy with your job and your work and you've got it might be pets at home you're neglecting whatever it is it's saying that things are not really as balanced as they should be that you've gotten too caught up in one aspect of your life even though it's a very important aspect of your life you're leaving something over on the side that's being neglected that should be getting more a lot more of your attention so this could mean different things for different people so you need to look at that for yourself and figure that out is there a person is who or what might be getting neglected while i'm pouring all my energy into this other project here so it could be for a lot of scorpios you're really busy working on your business interests career goals that sort of thing and you're not taking care of certain things in your personal life and there's it needs to be balanced out um, but it could it, it means different things for different people so you need to kind of examine that for yourself and then you've got the knight of pentacles and the pentacles do relate to the earth signs of taurus virgo and capricorn the knight of pentacles and this is a good card to have under the emperor this is talking about making progress slowly but surely that you're making progress in your plans your career your business whatever it is you are making that progress so and you're laying a solid foundation for yourself and that's really important because this is paying off for you and i feel like for a lot of scorpios your work your perseverance your determination your ambition is paying off for you now and you're aware of that for other scorpios it is coming for you but i feel like for a lot of scorpios it's paying off right now 
but it will continue to because you haven't reached your destination yet and you know it. You're still working towards your goals and your plans, but you're making, it's like you're on the right path. You're doing the good work you need to do to lay that foundation and it's really going to be paying off for you and you'll see it paying off as you're moving along on your path. Also, you'll feel a lot better about it. But sometimes things are going slower than you would like them to go. And that's what I'm getting here. So, um, and you've got, you know, you've got, what, one night, two nights, three nights here. So it's a lot about people in your life, too, all these nights. Oh, and Knight of Cups. I'll be darned. You've got all the Knights. You've got the Knight of Cups, Knight of Wands, Knight of Pentacles, Knight of Swords. So this is also people, okay? So in some cases, for some Scorpios, this might be a an earth sign around you. I feel like this could be a good, if this is a romantic interest for you, and it could be someone who's laying their own foundation and doing good work for themselves, this could be a possible solid mate for you, whoever this is for, okay? Because I'm getting different scenarios for different people. For some Scorpios, this person, Knight of Pentacles, they're real solid, they're ambitious, they're just taking their time getting things done. This person, I feel like, would help to anchor you because sometimes you might start feeling, um, I don't know, some kind of mood or something might overtake you that you start feeling either discouraged or you pull inward, kind of like a turtle pulling into their shell, kind of like removed from things. This person um, is just a real steady, calm person that will, I just don't want to say this, um, they don't have to be talking all the time. This is the kind of person who would be patient and wait for you if you're not expressing everything that's on your mind or that's in your heart and wait for you to feel comfortable to open up to them. That's what I feel like. Patience, patience, like, like they're not in a big hurry. They don't have to take off. They don't have to, everything doesn't have to happen right away. And that kind of get a sense for some Scorpios you'd get a sense of security with this person calm and secure where sometimes your emotions get you worked up where you're not feeling as calm as you would like to or peaceful maybe you're not feeling as peaceful as you would like to I'm trying to put my finger on just what I'm getting in my imagery here but this would be a calming influence on you this person stability, um, just help you to kind of feel more anchored. And then the next last card you have is Knight of Cups. And this is another, um, this is a water sign, the cups relating to Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer. And this Knight of Cups is saying someone's going to be expressing a lot of um, um, attention uh, to you, a lot of uh, fascination with you, uh, maybe having a big crush on you, expressing their love to you. Someone might even be proposing to you, proposing marriage or their love or something, professing their love for you. Whatever it is, someone for uh, some Scorpios, you're going to have someone that's just infatuated with you. They're going to be so attracted. They're just going to like everything about you that they can t see and want to get to know you better. They're going to be wanting to make plans to go places, do things with you, spend time with you. They're going to be trying to get you to, you know, have dates with them and whatever, because um, this person feels too like they like to be lighthearted and have fun and enjoy themselves and they're going to want to have a good time, but they're going to be really interested in you and be very flattered by whatever attention they get from you also. And it could be flattering for you because this person's just going to have a big crush on you and be really expressing that. So, um, and so in some cases, this could be someone you've been seeing and they're just all, maybe you haven't even seen them that long and all of a sudden they're expressing their love to you or something and their devotion or something, or they want to talking about marriage all of a sudden or long term or maybe moving in together, something about romance there. So, um, yeah, so you've got some interesting cards here. All those knights, though. Wow. I mean, some you've got something going on with people and um, making progress and just um, a lot of interesting um, um, things going on here for June. 
Okay, and now this is the Gilded Tarot that I've been using here. And uh, what I want to do next is pick one card from Magical Mermaids and Dolphins deck by Doreen Virtue. And um, if you like my videos, subscribe so you'll be notified. But you got to hit that notification bell also so you will be notified when I post new videos. And you can check your Rising and Moon Sign videos too and see if something resonates with one of those. And feel free to leave your comments. I welcome your comments. If anyone would like a private reading, my rates and contact info are listed below. And uh, Magical Mermaids and Dolphins, what is your message for Scorpio for the month of June? What is your message for Scorpio for the month of June? Okay. Let's see here. Okay. Oops, wait a minute, my screen went out. I'm reading these on my computer screen, and sometimes it just goes dark. Okay, this says consult an expert. More information is needed. Contact someone with expertise in this area. Okay, now next I've got the Angel Answers Oracle Cards by Radley Valentine. So think of a question or a situation that you have on your mind that you would like some kind of an answer for or guidance, insight into while I shuffle the angel answers oracle cards. Okay, angels, what is your message for Scorpio for the month of June? What is your message for Scorpio for the month of June? Okay, I'm going to give it one more shuffle, and I'll fan these out. What is your message for Scorpio for the month of June? Okay. This says, within the next few months. I love the colors, beautiful colors and imagery in these cards. Within the next few months, so does that answer your question? <laughs> okay, and last but not least. I'm going to pick one card from Magical, no, I'm sorry, not Magical, from the uh, Messages from Your Angels by Doreen Virtue. So, Angels, what, what is your message for Scorpio for the month of June? What is your message for Scorpio for the month of June? What is your message for Scorpio for June, Scorpio? Okay, fan these out. Okay, this is Angel Serena. I am the angel of abundance. You will receive the money that you need, and God is in charge of how that will happen. Have faith. Wow, I love this. Great card to end on. Angel Serena, I am the angel of abundance. You will receive the money that you need, and God is in charge of how that will happen. Have faith. Love it. All right. You got some good messages then. Okay, Scorpio. Well, have a great month of June. And um, feel free to leave your comments. I welcome your comments. You can check your rising moon sign videos. Subscribe if you like. And if anybody would like um, a private reading, my rates and contact info are listed below. So uh, have a wonderful June. And we'll talk again soon.